Hi everyone! In this video, we will walk you through how to use the FP1B Paper Drill Hole Puncher. First, let's attach the back gauge paper guide. Loosen the knobs on each side of the machine and push the washers outward. Slide on the back gauge so the arms go over the screws. Set the hole depth you want by sliding it forward or back using the paper guide on the top of the machine. Once set to your hole depth, tighten the knobs to hold it in place. Now let's install the drill bit. Always be careful handling drill bits as they are much sharper than they appear. Step 1. Place the drill bit with the sharp end down through the clamp and then up into the bit holder. Once it cannot go up any higher, use the included Allen wrench, which you can find in the waste bin on the back of the machine, to tighten the bit in place. Now you want to be sure the punch pad is installed. Simply place the plastic round pad into the base below the drill bit with the flat side up. Set up the paper guide for your sheet size and hole location. To move the side guides, just loosen the knobs, slide them into position, and tighten those knobs again. Now place your stack of paper up to about one inch thick on the table up against the back gauge, and then press down on the paper clamp. Once the paper is in place and the clamp is down, you can use both hands to pull down on the handle, punching a hole through the stack. Now press the tabs on the clamp to release it and remove your stack to reveal your punched paper. The FP1B High Capacity Single Hole Puncher is ideal for one and two hole applications because of the small table and paper guide width. Three hole punching is possible, it just requires more manual measuring and prep both before and during the punching process. We will link to other helpful videos in the description and if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more. If you have any questions or would like more information, visit us at binding101.com today where we are more than binding much more.